So I thought I'd do you a little video of the Pro Turn. Um, I've been learning how to use this today. I had a quick go of it when I was at the last place, although it was only there for a few weeks, and I only run it a couple of times, but I didn't get a chance to really run a program. So what I've been doing is, a lot of you know I make these air equip adapters for the power steering, for Mark VI Fiestas, Fiesta STs, uh, doing for the Focus RS and the Cosworth. Um, I've already got all the threaded sections and the first groove machined. And what I've been learning today is doing this second half. So going from, let's just show you here, going from that to that. Obviously there's an O-ring on there, which you wouldn't have. And I've gone through four of these so far, trying to get it right, because we had one with two bigger chamfer on the end, one that turned it down too much, and then these two, these two were good. They turned out right. So I've just been tweaking the program. Unfortunately, I crashed it pretty bad with a tool earlier by changing and not realizing. I took the tools out, done something manually, and when I put the tool back in, I didn't tell it what tool number it was, and it thought it was a different tool with a different offset. So I smashed the end of that tool to bits, and unfortunately, I done quite a hefty ding in the edge of the chuck there. Luckily, this has got full brake on it and it stops instant. So it damaged the tool and the jaws, but that's about it. So really that's about, I don't know what set of them is gonna be, about 80 quid probably. So it's an expensive lesson learned. But again, I haven't got anyone to show me and double check with me on these sort of things. So I am learning as I go and hopefully I won't make any mistakes like that again I'll try and keep you at the reflection a little bit here so we can go into DRO mode and then these are just normal electronic hand wheels and you've got fine and coarse adjustment on them um, if you want to do a program you can I'll just show you I've got programming for these at the moment and if we go to set up and tool path, this will show you what I'm currently doing with regards to this. So these lines, the blue lines going across here are the roughing passes, and then the blue there is the finished outline, and then these small lines that you can see in here going in are the cuts which do the groove for the o-ring and then the second one is purely a cut just to take the burr off the edge of that so there we have it there and we're using three tools that we've got set up I'll show you the program again I do apologize about the reflection but I don't seem to be able to do a lot about that so if we go to begin here's our program we've got position events so to tell the tool where to wrap it to and then cycle turn events this is to tell the finished profile that I'm after turn event turn event turn event turn event and then a position to clear the tool away from the part and basically get out of the way and then it goes through for the grooves it's taken me pretty much all day and then we've got a drill event. Now the tail stock is manual. So what we've got is you have to excuse the big chuck because I set it up in this because this I'd left on the side. So currently the tool set up for this chuck, that's a bit big for this, but it does fit. So this is a normal tool holder with I think a 32 mil or 35 mil bore with a Morse taper three adapter in it. So that will sit on there like so and then be powered to do the drilling cycle now it does work really well the only downside is i really want a stubby drill in there because it just walks a little bit on the start but it's not enough that you're going to notice you know it's not detrimental to the part so that's not a problem so i'm going to show you this running now so what i'm going to do is 
The only downside of this machine is the coolant is on this corner, which is fine when you're coming in and along and you've got it set. But when you get, you get it set up and say, for example, I get the tool and the part all lined up there and everything's good. I can line this up and then the coolant comes on, we'll turn it on and we'll say, you're on the tool and that's all well and good. Now once I change this for a different tool or I move this, we come away and it's cutting on a different profile, the coolant's just not where you want it. Really, I want that attached onto a block here so that it follows, it moves with this and I can just have it, all I've got to adjust it for then is the tip of the tool. But at the moment, it does do the job and it's better than having no coolant at all. It just takes a bit of fettling to adjust. So we've got tool number one and it says tool number one on there. So I'm gonna go into program, run, start. It's telling me that I wanted it to do 10 passes, but basically it's telling me it doesn't need that many passes because of the size of the part. Now if we go to go, it's gonna take us to a home position, which set on mine is 150 mil back and 150 mil back this way. So we'll shut the door now. And we've got start the spindle and press go for CNC run. So I can start the spindle and it's going to stop it and tell me to load tool one. I don't know why it does it that way around, it just does. So load tool one, which is in there, start the spindle again. And then what we're going to do is press go. Try and cover the reflection because you're now looking through the glass and the glass isn't the cleanest to be fair, but you get the idea. I've not actually timed how long this takes, but what I do like is the fact that when I did them manually, they took me a fair bit longer to do each one manually. And then also it varied part to part. If I just turn the hand wheel a little bit too much by mistake, I'd get one that was slightly undersized and might be a sloppy fit that I didn't want to use. And then that was a bit of a pain because you think, oh, I don't want to send it out in case you was to get a fit in the leaks or something like that. Whereas now, I can dial the tools in, get everything how I want it, and then if there's any sort of tolerances that need to be changed, I can put modifiers in on the X or the Z and get it spot on and then just run a batch of say 5, 10, 20, however many I need. Right, so we've got there, load tool number two and start spinning. So you can see, let's turn that off, just show you that's the first part. Put the profile done. So we now take out number one. Which I'm just going to put on the floor at the minute because it gets everything covered in coolant. Put number two in, which is a parting off tool, and it's going to do a groove in there for the O ring. And then it's also going to get rid of this burr on the back there for the second piece. So we'll turn it on again. Start the spindle, press go. Now we're on there, it says tool two. That's the O-ring groove. And then it's moved across and it's just taken a slight cut on the back of the groove that's already there to deburr it. And now we're off again. Now it's telling me load tool number three, which is the drill bit and press go for CNC run. So if I show you this now, let's get the airline there. You can see that profile, really nice. Well happy with this so far. 
apart from that crash, obviously. Take out number two. Let's put in our ridiculously oversized chunk for the job. And this has got the five mil drill bit. Now what I want to do is I want to change it to a carbide or a stubby drill bit just so it doesn't walk because there's no um, there's no pilot hole or anything like that. And then this is where I'm saying obviously the coolant differs here, but even if I had it there, putting a drill in this this long isn't the best. So Number two, press go CNC run. It's going to move us back to our safe position. And then go straight back in. And then I just stop it there, just so I can get the coolant on. And then if I get it there, because it's paused now, I can press go and it's now doing the drilling cycle. I think I've got it to do, it's about 25 mil deep, the hole's got to go, and it's done on about, I think it was six or eight pecs, and they get progressively smaller each time. So the first drill is the deepest, and then after that they get shallower, I suppose just to decrease the chip load on the drill and there you have it that's telling me the run is over the program's finished And then there's the finished part. Now all I tend to do now, because if you have just a slight, I'd like to deburr that, but rather than do another tool in another chuck, just to chamfer that edge, what I tend to do, just put it into DRO. I use a hand chamfer tool. And I just lightly, just literally push the end there and that does the job. Now if we check the fit, we've got one of our O-rings. Put the O-ring on there. And then I use, I've got like a dummy part of the steering rack cut off to just check size and that there is a lovely fit so somewhere here Got trying to do this one-handed which i'm gonna have to just put you down for a second just to take do with a manual brake on this machine because I'm holding this in a in a fitting so I need to unscrew it when I'm done and then I can just screw in the next one and go straight onto it just get rid of this glove because it's all ripped off now And there you have the other part of the fitting. So this may not be the most amazing part to some of you, but to me, this is like rocket science. Full on, most complicated ever CNC as far as I'm concerned. So there we have it. Parts done, we test fit it into here. It's just a perfect push fit, just nice and snug. It takes a little twist and pull to get it out. And that is exactly what we wanted. So yeah, that there 
It's my first ever CNC turned parts on any lathe, let alone the Pro Turn. So yeah, well happy. So while I'm here, I'm gonna do a batch of them for the Fiesta STs, uh, keep going. And that is just easier. That is so much easier, yeah. Hopefully I don't crash it again, fingers crossed. But we'll start doing more work, but I thought you'd show that little video of the first parts that I've been making. Thanks for watching, see you again soon.